What's up Transformers enthusiasts, this is your boy RBG aka The Random Black Gamer hitting you guys up with a Transformers The Last Night update video. As you may recall I did a video giving you guys my wish list of characters I wanted to see in this film. I even gave you guys a list of characters who are officially confirmed to make a return. For today's video I want to give you guys a list of confirmed characters new and old. And I also want to give speculations on characters that haven't been confirmed but many viewers assume will be based on the recent release trailer we got last week. First off let me just clarify that this is not a clickbait video, this is 100% legit and I'll be going out of my way with some reliable sources to prove my points. All the info I've gathered comes from the official Transformers Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat and we even have some info from Michael Bay himself. I'll also use a little info from Wikipedia. With that said, let's get on with the video. Coming in first we have the obvious robot cast member, Bumblebee. It was a given that he would be in considering he's been one of the most consistent in appearances besides Optimus. He's pretty much become the mascot of the movie universe and is instantly partnered up with the protagonist of each film. Bumblebee may not be the strongest or efficient in battle but he more than makes up for it with his bravery and determination. This personality somewhat hinders him and puts him in bad predicaments as we've seen many times like in Dark of the Moon where he almost bit the bullet at the hands of Soundwave. And it looks like history could be repeating itself as we see in the newest trailer of the last night where it looks like he could potentially die at the hands of the Big Buddha aka Optimus Prime. But I'm optimistic he won't die in this film because when it comes to Bumblebee he's like a bottomless well of luck. It's also rumored that he has a spinoff movie coming out so I don't think Michael Bay plans on scrapping this Autobot anytime soon. Up next is the Decepticon formerly known as Galvatron, Lord Megatron. Now I had mentioned in my previous Robot Cast video that it was rumored that Megatron would be returning in place of Galvatron and that rumor turned out to be true. As to how he got a new body and refers to himself back to Megatron is anyone's guess. The last time we saw Megatron in action and this is excluding Galvatron was in Dark of the Moon. He was somewhat weakened from a previous battle he had with Optimus Prime in his jet convoy mode. In my honest opinion Megatron has gotten the worst treatment out of all the Transformers in the Bay films. He went from being a badass savage in part 1 to a constant lackey in all the other films. No matter how many times we think he's gonna redeem himself he fails us by getting owned in a matter of seconds. He's gotten his ass beat by Optimus on more than one occasion and was smacked around by Sentinel Prime in TF3. Megatron has been one of the most consistent Decepticons in the movie's attendance. He was also the first triple changer we saw in Revenge of the Fallen where he could either turn into a Cybertronian jet or tank. If he's able to still do this in the last night remains a mystery. This time around he seems to have taken on a more medieval look similar to Optimus Prime. He wields what looks like to be a dual tipped claymore sword with a shield instead of his signature arm blaster and ball and chain which he barely used to begin with. You can spot him twice in the newest trailer. Number 3 on our list we have a transformer who's no stranger to the code of honor, Drift. Drift is a former Decepticon turned Autobot who's dropped his guns in exchange for a pair of dual swords. In his original G1 Origins he went by the name of Deadlock before he defected from the Decepticons and changed his name to what it is now. It's still not confirmed if that part of his origin story will be transferred over into the Bay films or not but I still like to imagine that it is part of the backstory. He's my favorite second wave transformer we've gotten in Age of Extinction. I mean who doesn't like a transformer who can use his helicopter propeller as swords if he wants. Drift's the fourth triple changer we've seen in all the movies besides Megatron, Mixmaster and Laserbeak. If my observations serve me correctly he was probably the only newcomer we saw actually transform in Age of Extinction. Which is kinda unfortunate considering how aesthetically complex the other newbies were like Crosshair as robot mode. Based on the concept art given via Transformers official Twitter and Snapchat Drift has went through a color change. Instead of sporting black with the blue trim on his Samurai S armor he will be covered in mostly red with black being the secondary color scheme. The funny thing about this is when he transforms into his vehicle mode the primary color will be black with the red being secondary. Instead of his alt mode being a tricked out Bugatti he's gonna be transforming into a Mercedes AMG GTR. It'll probably be able to alternate into a helicopter hybrid but we'll have to wait and see. For Numero Quattro we have the Decepticon that everyone seems to confuse with Prowl, Barricade. This may come as a surprise to some and somewhat complicating but Barricade is one of those Decepticons who goes by unnoticed a lot of times in the films. This will actually be the fourth film he's been in so far. Many presumed him dead after his defeat at the hands of Bumblebee in the first film but he did in fact return in T3 Dark of the Moon. We saw him rounding up Autobots to be killed under the orders of Soundwave. 
He would ultimately kill Q, aka Wheeljack, but would later be sent retreating after being shot in the eye and having his leg blown off at the hands of a Ness soldier. But he's back in the fight again with an all new upgraded look. Instead of having the traditional black and white colors like he did in TF1 and 3 and being a Ford saline police vehicle, he's going with a more simple 2016 Ford Mustang look that'll be colored mostly in blue, white being the secondary color. As you see by the concept art, he looks more proportioned and less menacing compared to his previous look. Next up on the list we have my least favorite newcomer, Hound. I hate this transformer based off of the looks, abilities, and overall personality. He's like a refurbished version of Bulkhead which he should have been in the first place. This particular version mirrors nothing of his G1 version other than the fact that he's a military specialist. I really didn't enjoy his constant blabbering and dry humor. His design was goofy, and to top it off, we never really saw him transform. He seemed like he was trying to be the new stand-in for Ironhide, that with all the weapons and such, but he didn't come close. Now it looks like he's gonna be filling in for the medic role for Ratchet. In the concept art, he maintains a majority of his design, but he now sports these half-ass red crosses all over his body. Swerving in at number 6 is Onslaught. This reveal was announced back in July on Michael Bay's official website. If there are any diehard G1 heads out there watching this video, you pretty much know the backstory of this classic Decepticon. He's the leader of the Combaticons who combined together to form a giant robot called Bruticus. Unlike many of the other combiners in the Transformers series, Bruticus is one of the most intelligent due to the Combaticons group cohesion. As of yet, we haven't gotten any images of Onslaught's robot mode. All we have so far are images of his alt vehicle mode. As you can see by this picture, he'll be transforming into a heavy duty Western Star tow truck. He looks like he's gonna be the powerhouse we know him to be, but it really deters from his old school vehicle mode. He's always been a flatbed missile truck, and judging from Michael Bay's history of using the Decepticons to be the military vehicles, it would have made sense for him to use Onslaught as such. But it's Michael Bay. I guess I should be used to seeing him change stuff up by now. Hitting us up at the number 7 spot is Crosshairs. This guy was my second favorite newcomer after Drift. He has my favorite design out of all the Transformers we've seen in the film so far. He has a cool outlaw design with the car parts flapping over his legs like a trench coat. And you gotta dig some of his smart aleck remarks that totally go against the grain of being the Autobot dialogue. He looks like he's gonna keep his sharpshooter role in this movie and not much looks like it's gonna be changed with his overall appearance. As I mentioned earlier, he along with Hound didn't transform into their vehicle modes in Age of Extinction. It's a bummer because I as well as many others were wondering how the trench coat would look changing into its alternate mode. Here's hoping that Bay will have him actually transform in the last night. Number 8 on the list is Squeaks. Not much is known about this particular Transformer other than the fact that he'll be partnered up with the newest human protagonist, Isabella. From the info I gathered, he's gonna be a somewhat conflicted robot whose vocabulistics are limited to the words, and I quote, Chihuahua, due to prior damage. Based on his overall aesthetic, you can tell right off the bat that this little guy can transform into a Vespa. I'm also gonna speculate that Squeaks could possibly be a Junkion based on his outward appearance. It's already been revealed that Isabella is an orphan, so maybe she stumbled across Squeaks in a junkyard. We already see her and her crew stumble across a severely damaged Transformer in what looks to be a junkyard in the latest TF5 trailer. Coming in at number 9, we have the face that wrecks the place, Mr. Robo Jesus, aka Big Buddha, Optimus Prime. Judging from the trailer, this guy looked like he's gonna be sent through the ringer. As we see, Optimus looks like his voyage to destroy his creators came to a screeching halt from where we last left off. Not sure if he was literally stopped by some unknown enemy or if he simply ran out of energon. Who knows? What we do know is that this Autobot ambassador isn't going to be so diplomatic this time around. As a matter of fact, he looks like he might be defecting from the good guys to the bad guys. As we've seen in the teaser trailer we got 6 months prior, Optimus Prime seems to have been taken over. Judging from the purple eyes, he may have been supercharged with dark energon. I've come up with some possible scenarios how this could have happened. What if some unknown sentient being saw Optimus Prime's lifeless shell floating through the far reaches of space? Just what if they offered him a supply of energon, but little did he know, it was actually dark energon. That's just one of my many theories. As you saw in the newest trailer, Optimus was ready to put his second in command Cadet Bumblebee down for the count. Way to end off a already hyped trailer, right? If Optimus is one of the leading antagonists the Autobots have to worry about, then who will rise to take his place? 
This leads us to our last and final officially confirmed character, Hot Rod, or Rodimus if you want to go by his original Japanese full name. If you go back to my TF5 video regarding robots that I wanted to see in, I didn't feature him on the list, but a lot of viewers did. I think the fans who vouched for him to be in TF5 can finally start jumping for joy. But with that said, this character has had a mixed reaction since his debut in the original animated film. He was actually meant to replace Optimus. He was also meant for all intents and purposes to sell new action figures for the Transformers toy line along with other newcomers in the cast. After Optimus' death in the first animated film, Hot Rod would take over as the new leader of the Autobots and also become the latest Prime after embracing the power of the Allspark. A very powerful moment in the movie but very controversial at the same time. Hot Rod's reception wasn't that good after he took over for Optimus in the G1 series continuation, so the writers of the show ended up bringing Optimus back. Now with that said, will we see history repeat itself? Since Optimus is under control by some unknown entity, will Hot Rod be the one to take his place yet again? Not gonna say that's the case, but it's looking like it. But that's probably the only thing that looks familiar here. Judging from the reveal photo, this version of Hot Rod looks nothing like the original G1 version, let alone any other of the previous versions. Not at all. This looks like a taller and more leaner version of Bumblebee. For his history info, it says that he's quote unquote Bumblebee's brother in arms. That info alone sounds like they're trying to mold Hot Rod in B's image, which is a bit sad. As I mentioned earlier, Michael Bay always manages to do the opposite of what we expect him to do. After numerous complaints regarding how the Transformers' busy designs made it hard to follow the action, he toned it down and made them more proportioned in Age of Extinction. He also gave the newcomers more humanoid faces. You would think he'd do this look for Hot Rod considering he had a humanoid face in the original film, but no. As you can see, he has that mouth visor and he even has the cookie cutter bug eye similar to B. He's not even sporting his signature flames and that pretty much gives him the right to be called Hot Rod. So it's basically a buzz kill just looking at his overall design. What's even more daunting is that he's rumored to have a French accent. And these rumors are looking to be true. It was already confirmed that his alt mode would be a black and red Lamborghini Centenario. But it's also confirmed that his previous alternate mode would be an old 1955 Citroen DS classic sports car. Those particular vehicles were originally manufactured in France. So I'm thinking that this will explain why Hot Rod will have a French accent. For all we know, he may have been on Earth since the 50s and landed in France. That's just my observation. But that's pretty much it you guys, there are more confirmed robots that will be in the last night along with more speculated ones, but I don't want this video to be lengthier than it already is. So what I'm going to do is post pictures at the end of the video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give your thoughts in the comment section below and also don't forget to like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a like, it can be a dislike, for any feedback is good feedback and it will further help improve this content. And to get a confirmation that you guys watched this vid in its entirety, follow your comments up with to all gamers are one. But anyways, this is your boy RBG hitting you guys up with another video. I'll hit you guys later. Peace out.